So, how exactly are the streaming platforms changing cinema? Well, the good news is that, so far at least, it appears watching at home on our computers or smart TVs isn't preventing us from watching on a big screen at your local multiplex. According to a report from Ernst & Young, those who visit the cinema regularly, and that's more than nine times a year, are also the highest consumers of streamed content. Nearly a third of them also spend at least 15 hours a week watching streamed content online. But even given that statistic, cinema chains can't afford to rest on their laurels. Netflix alone has seen its subscribers around the world rise to 158 million. And while growth in the US is slowing, largely due to a rise in prices, subscriptions elsewhere in the world are speeding up. And that just might be because Netflix has started to use its seemingly unlimited budgets and notoriously hands-off approach with filmmakers to create truly prestige projects. Martin Scorsese couldn't get a traditional film studio to back his hit The Irishman, so Netflix stepped in and could win its first Best Picture Oscar for its trouble. An art house favourite, Noah Baumbach's latest awards bait marriage story was also a Netflix production. And it's not just Netflix, of course. Amazon was the first streaming giant to win an Oscar for one of its films with Manchester by the Sea back in 2017. Cinema chains aren't happy. They say the fact you can only see these films on the big screen for a matter of weeks, if at all, before you can watch them at home, means they're not really cinema films, but in fact, are made for TV movies. And directors too can't seem to agree on whether or not streaming is a good or a bad thing. It certainly has Pedro Almodovar worried. We ha they have to survive uh, mixing with mobiles, uh, 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 the TV, uh, home video, or tablets, that we have to coexist together. And my fear is that, for example, in Spain, every day, I mean, every week, uh, any, any, uh, any theater is, is closed. So it, that's a fear, because I think that the, really the, the, cinematic, the cinematic experience, you need to be in a front of a big, big, a big screen, uh, in silence, in the darkness, and surrounded by strangers. And the, movie was the movies were created for that. Although German auteur Werner Herzog, the man behind classics of European cinema like Fitzcarraldo, Nosferatu and Grizzly Man can see the benefits. Um, streaming is, is massively coming at us. You all, you, we all know it. And um, many of the big things are coming right into, into streaming. It has an advantage for me because all of a sudden films that I made 45 years ago uh, are seen by 15-year-old kids in Missoula, Montana. God knows where that is. But they're very excited because they see a film, let's say Enigma of Caspar Hauser, which uh, I made when their when their parents were not even born yet but all of a sudden because of streaming they are available that's a great advantage otherwise I I'm somebody who still loves the theater the cinema and the collective experience but with Disney plus and Apple joining Netflix and Amazon in the content game in late 2019 it looks like the battle between big and small screen is only just the beginning